So, because uh, we were having a discussion not earlier before you <laughs> got here, and, and I'm curious if if I'm a guy and I have sex with you, mm-hmm. am I gay? I don't think so. Uh, think I so, do think that there is it's a lot of gray area. So me, uh, I think that uh, trans women are feminine beings. Okay. Uh, I, I don't like saying trans women are women. I think that trans women are feminine beings. Um, I think that women are feminine beings. Like It's about femininity and masculinity. And at the end of the day, if you think that genitals are a priority, I think that's a personal preference. Okay. To me, I think... A lot of times beyond the labels of gay industry, I think that people are attracted to masculinity and femininity. That's why when girls get drunk, they start making out with each other. And I think that, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's because they like both. Okay. And it doesn't mean that they're lesbian or it doesn't mean anything. It's just they like what they like. And I think that they're attracted to femininity in the moment. And I think with me, I uh, if even if a guy is sleeping with a woman... And she's using a strap on on him. I don't think that makes it gay. So I don't think that if I'm strapping a guy or with with my organic strap, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I don't think that was gay either. And so I do think that uh, we get so caught up in labels because of something that came up so long ago. And honestly, I think it's very like I think gay straight all that came very religiously from religious times. I think that it's very. It's much more fluid than we think. Anything it is mostly masculinity and femininity that we're attracted to. But then, if you penetrate a guy with your penis, that wouldn't make it gay. I don't think so. Because would you think if a woman penetrated you with a strap on, is that gay? Well, no. Let me ask you. Let me let you just take that. (laughs) If a woman put it this way, yo, hey, yo, uh, you eat ass, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. And you, you like, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. You don't know when they. Eat your ass. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, fuck it, right? Yeah, I, fuck eating it. ass is great. And listen, and listen, <laughs> and and what about you know some finger play? Because because supposedly it, yeah. we got our G, our G yeah, spot yeah, and our the prostate. prostate. Yeah, I don't think no. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm so not, I don't think it's gay. It, it, I don't think it's gay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, don't think I, think <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of times it is. It's a very personal. I, I will never say I'm like uh, to me. I would say this is how I believe. I do think that sometimes people they they think that um, if you. Get your fucking dick sucked by like like uh by like a trans girl is gay or something like that some people believe that and I'm like it's just it's so fluid and it's so hard to say like oh this is what it is I think it's a very personal mm-hmm. journey I think sexuality is very personal and I don't think anyone can tell you what you are and what you aren't mm-hmm. uh, because there's a lot of guys out there that are like gay for pay and they're like oh I'm straight but they're taking some dick for <laughs> so it's like twenty dollars right is twenty dollars <laughs> <the> right price. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's very like, I think that, um, I I think that the labels of gay and straight are just so subjective. Antiquated and and like so um, old. Antiquated. 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 I was was like, I don't know the word. (laughs) Antiquated. And I do think that a lot of times it is about Mm. femininity and masculinity because I'm like, okay, so if you're going to fuck, oh my God, I hate saying this. So (laughs) this is what Andrew Tate said. (laughs) Uh, So he said, okay, Hulk Hogan with a pussy and Megan Fox with a dick. Who are you fucking? Oh, I'm fucking Megan that? Fox with a yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, yeah, you're not gonna fuck Hulk Hogan with a pussy. No, <laughs> no, exactly. So, you just so, scoot the dick over. <laughs> <Kinda good. laughs> well, that's too bad. that was kind of your argument here because you're like, oh, it's still the ass, you know? Like I said, yeah, and it's, I did say it's subjective. A little yeah, bit. and I think it really is about just like comfortability and just like how it's it is what you what happens in the bedroom. Um, and I love being with couples, so I have been with lots of men and women, and like so many girls are just like i want to see him suck your dick and i'm just like all right claudia <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's just like it's very like and like she doesn't think it's gay in the moment yeah. you know what i mean it's just something i'm just very the kinks it's it's exploring it's exploring and so i think that um it really is uh when i think about gay straight i think it's romantic i think it's if you want to be with a man if you want to be with a woman i think that is really when it starts blending the lines of like if you want to be with a man then you're gay oh, okay. but if like you're sleeping around and like you're swingers and you're doing some fucking crazy shit i don't even think that makes you gay who do we have on this we had on a, many years ago who's like a sexual um, david hernandez was it his name uh mr what is it was he, he had like a, like a name the guy in the in the first studio yeah what yeah, we wore all black. Yeah, I was yeah. literally gonna bring him up. David yeah, Hernandez. <laughs> remember, no, we're on the same wavelength yeah, yeah, right now. I know, what, I know exactly what you're gonna remember say. Remember what he said. He's like, "Well, like whatever happens in the bedroom with your partner, 
Facts. That's between you two. Yeah. Dude, literally. No, no, you're in here <laughs> right now, bro. <laughs> you're in here. Yeah. But yeah, to your point, he says that he said that. He goes, listen, whatever you do behind closed doors with you and your partner, that's your business. It yeah. shouldn't be anyone else's business. What they think, what they say, their Facts. opinion, who the fuck cares? It's with you and your partner. If that's what gets you off, that's what gets you off. True, true. And then it gets to what you're saying. Like, if you want to date a man... As mm-hmm. a man, then yeah, okay, now now that's okay, then that's one thing. Yeah. Or if you're a woman, do you want to date a woman, marry a woman, whatever, exactly. have family with it? And okay, if then. you want to date a trans woman, I think it's because it's like the the social perceived gender. It's like it's very it's like me and a guy. It's a very straight relationship. Me and a girl is a very lesbian relationship. Mm, so I think that's like very. Um, and uh, I've been exploring my lesbian side as well. I can lately yeah. when I started porn, I think that was when I really was like, oh, I actually really do like girls. And then um, I accept with me, it's like with a girl, I need her to be able to know how to strap. I can't just be, I don't like being with a woman who sees me as just being like the penetrator of being like the top. I like being versed. The same with guys. I need a guy to give both if I'm going to be a significant other with them.